Good morning. It is January 27th, Wednesday, and it is 7.27 a.m. And I am getting up. So, I actually woke up this morning at 6 o'clock, and um, I opened my eyes, and I could tell it was raining, and I just closed my eyes and smiled and went back to sleep. Man, I slept so good last night. It's because it didn't get to freezing. It was chilly, don't get me wrong, but it was cozy. I was cozy in my bag, and I slept good. Man. I think it's that spot. I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, I wasn't sure what I was going to do today, but it is supposed to storm really bad around 2 and last until like early in the morning. Um, 90% chance. I think they said about an inch of rain. So I think I will just scoot in just for the night. That way I can upload two videos. And here's the thing, man. <laughs> Oh, I made, I did the biggest, biggest rookie mistake is um, I came out here with minimal toilet paper. I had like four thin um, sheets of Kleenex. I use Kleenex because usually if I go to the hotel rooms or even if not, I'll just buy a, a box of Kleenex. That way they're in like little sheets and I can just put them on top of each other and fold them. And they're comfy on your bum. So yeah, man, I like the Kleenex, but I only have four left. And they're gone. I have none right now. So I would have to go in at least for TP anyways. Yeah. So I guess I'm going to keep on hiking northbound. And I will get back with y'all. All right. Up Kelly Knob, man, there's a few. 
you just saw it this this is a tough climb man but there is a little view during the winter um, once these leaves fill in though there is no view up here at all and it becomes a pud which for the y'all who don't know a pud is pointless up and down it means you, the trail just goes straight up a mountain and down it with no view so it's like what's the purpose um yeah so man but it is a tough climb so man i wasn't really going to talk about this but i don't know i just keep thinking about it just to nerve some people so like i had this guy on uh yesterday come on my video and he's talking about oh me and my family we love your videos they are so amazing we want to help you we live in north georgia we also have a place in franklin um when you get there we can pick you up give you a place to stay this and that and, that. and he was just super nice and generous and i was like yeah man that'd be great because i was planning to stay at um chica and sunset's hostel and i was like man free deal i'll go for that and then this morning i saw a, a comment and he goes unfortunately because you refuse to wear a mask you were on your own first of all i am never on my own i <laughs> Even when I'm out here by myself, I am never alone. And that may be something you will never understand. And, and second of all, I have tons and tons of support. I don't, just because you're not going to help me does not mean I'm on my own anymore. And I know you were saying God bless and all that stuff to me. But let me tell you something. People like you, hypocrites are the reason that so many people don't like Christians because they come off self-righteous and I want to help you and I want to do this and I want to do this for you but as soon as you find out one thing that you don't like about that person you go nope I'm I can't help you I refuse to help you dude that's not Christianity brother it really isn't um, so I just want you to know if you're watching my videos you and your family can watch my videos all you want. I hope you enjoy them. I make them for everyone. I don't care what your ideology is, your political beliefs, nothing. My videos are there for you to watch. So I hope you and your family keep enjoying them. And I'm not going to get into any of the current issues or pol politics. That's why I came out here to get away from all that. And I also came out here to get away from people like you, self-righteous hypocrites. The world's too many of them in the world and it is what is causing such a riff in society so sir anyways i'm glad i got that out that was a little rant and that's about as much as my rant's gonna be because like i said i don't want nothing to do with that none of that garbage i don't mm -mm. the matrix man mm -mm -mm. i don't want to go back ever well, I'm going to keep on hiking northbound, and I will get back with y'all. All right.
everyone. So I made it to this beautiful vista. And this view is at mile 66.6. I don't know, man. It's not always going to be that. As soon as they reroute the trail, it'll change. Um, it, the thing is, there's an awesome camp spot. Just like a little ways up there. And so you can camp there and there's a nice fire circle. And you have to carry water, but not very far. And then you'll have this. And I believe that's east, so the sun probably sets on the other side. But still, it would be amazing. I've camped here once. Um, I think I'll wait for them to reroute it before I camp here. Mile 66.6. .6. Oh, man. That cannot be good. I'm not really superstitious. I'm more of a better to be safe than sorry type person. So, yeah, so I have, um, I think it's only like three miles, maybe a little less to Dick's Creek Gap. And then I have a little bump and then down, 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 and then another little bump and then down, 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 down to Dick's Creek Gap. And um, I have a ride. So, yeah, I'm going to go into town um, just for tonight and then I'm going to get back on tomorrow. Man, I think I'm going to chill out here for a little bit and just chill out and take in this view, man. And this is really nice. I wonder what lake that is over there. Oh, wait. I think that's, um, uh, I can't think of it. It's beautiful, though. Dick's Creek Gap. And there is the famous rock. Man, it's hard to believe that it's going to rain so bad in just a couple hours. But I checked the weather when I was up at that vista and it, sh it said it sure is still going to rain around 2 o'clock, 90%, all the way into like 4 in the morning. So, yeah. All right, well, I am just going to wait for my ride. Voodoo is picking me up. Um, I told him I'd be at 1, and I left him a message saying I'll be here at 12.30, but I think it's only noon. So the nice thing about Dick's Creek Gap is there's picnic tables. There's one, two, and then there's another one up there. And you can camp around here. There is, you could actually camp up there. Or you can, there's camping across the road too. Um, yeah, so it's definitely an option. Man, it sure is pretty though. God, it's hard to believe it's going to rain like that. All right, well, I will get back with y'all when I get into Hiawassee. All right.
see y'all. So I'm going to end the video for today. So let's see. Today I woke up at Sassafras Gap, hiked to Dix Creek Gap. Um, my buddy Voodoo picked me up. Thank you so much, Voodoo. He's helped me out so much, him and Caruso. Man, I owe y'all a lot. Um, I got to Hiawassee. Um, we ate lunch, um, me and Voodoo. I got back, um, uploaded a video, and then I went and ate at uh, Daniel's Steakhouse. I love that place. And now I'm back, and I got to finish this video, and then I'm going to um, upload that. And then I'm just going to chill out for the night. And um, yeah, so I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.